This is the starting point for the Classes of Teaching Kids programming, a nonprofit created by Lynn Langett and Llewellyn Falco. Their mission is to teach kids how to program computers, as well as techniques that help kids think creatively for math and science. Their work has been tested across the globe, and their nonprofit is growing in content and number of volunteers by the hour. Today, we explore their work and how it came to be. Lynn and Llewellyn began their work in 2010 as a program under Microsoft. Eventually, they decided to start out on their own, and TKP was born. They began writing instructions for lessons in teaching Small Basic, a Microsoft programming language, called Recipes. The recipes centered around a turtle character, which kids would guide through drawing a square. From there, they grew in shapes and complexity until students would be able to write their own tic-tac-toe games and the like. One of the first TKP events was in Copenhagen, Denmark. Lynn and Llewellyn traveled to a conference there, and in their spare time, taught an event at one of the local schools. While writing the courseware, however, they also decided that programming should not be taught traditionally. They began developing their own method, which is best perhaps explained by Llewellyn Falco himself. So how is TKP taught differently than other classes? Well, most classes are done in a lecture and listen style, where the professor is going to talk and then the kids just listen. And then you have some that are done more in a workshop style where the instructor says to do this, do this, do this, and the kids follow along. And when that comes to programming, you usually sort of type this line of code and the kids just type it. So it sort of becomes a typing class. We kind of flip that around. We start by putting the kids into a place and telling them the intention, the goal of what they want to do, but without telling them exactly how to get there. So the kids have to sort of explore and figure out, how do you do this? Now hit a sign. We are small basic programmers. This new method of teaching had excellent results. As they began traveling more and more, Lynn and Llewellyn were constantly met with support from teachers and a positive reception from students. TKP was going so well that it began to expand to more volunteers than just its founders. Volunteers and supportive teachers from around the globe began teaching the course where Lynn and Llewellyn created, not to mention that they often traveled and taught kids themselves. Let's see if they were paying attention. How old am I? Seventeen! Whoops, okay, wrong question. Teaching kids programming has had significant success in its work, receiving grants and support from various foundations, and seeing some of its former students graduate to teacher status. Some of these teachers include Genevieve Lesprance, a 20-year-old Canadian teacher, Ashley Myers, a Seattle-based American teacher, and Samantha Langett, Lynn's own daughter. So when you were teaching at your middle school, one of your own teachers w joined the class and was one of your students. What was that like? Well, um, he was actually a good student. He picked up around the same rate as everyone else. And why is TKP important to you? I'm doing something really good for the world when I'm with T TKP and teaching and it's sort of a step to helping the world even though I'm only 14 and still trying to figure out my own life. TKP's site explains all about the organization and Lynn and Llewellyn can be contacted through it. Hey guys, thanks for watching.